Hey there, we're Gamers Justin and Painter, and today, boom, got another little unboxing for you. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in today. If you are new here, please alpha strike that like and subscribe button. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for being an awesome lance mate, star mate, whatever the case may be. I appreciate you having my six and being here to support what it is that I'm doing. That said, today we're going to get into a little bit of an unboxing. We have a box of minis sent to me from Jonas. Uh, Jonas Skinner uh, for our uh, grinder box for the Nova 2023. Um, Minis Collective that uh, you guys are well aware of at this point if you've been following the channel. He sent over some minis and we're going to check out what he sent today. Trying to open this in a way that uh, you know addresses and things are not flowing around uh, but we'll see. I'm not sure what he actually sent. Oh, let's see here. We've got tape on the sides too. He a smart boy. He taped it up. He taped it up. Alright, now that it's open, um, not sure what he sent. He sent me a message and said, are you still looking for minis for the Nova box? And I was like, oh, I'm always looking for minis. I would never say no to minis. And then he sent some. So let's see what we got here. Let's read our little note. It says, Justin, these are the first plastics I painted from the Clan Invasion Kickstarter. I ended up going in a different direction with my wolf, uh, Wolf's Forces, but I know you do Beta Galaxy, so here you go. And I hope you can build out your personal forces a bit. I always do what I imagine in my personal mech. Um... Uh, as number 13. Okay, so the Mac Cat. Uh, thanks so much for putting on the Nova Open. Jonas Skinner, Discord, JS uh, Skinner, member of the Nova Regiment. Uh, that's the um, Facebook group, if I recall. So that's the note. That means that the mech that he chose for himself is going to be a Timberwolf. Um, and also, for the record, <laughs> while I will use some of these uh, minis, I've done a few battle reports thus far. Um, that's mostly for content and also to uh, give you guys some time to shine. Uh, those uh, individuals who have painted stuff, seeing their, their minis show up in battle reports, I think is really cool. Plus, it gives me a way to play aces. But while I appreciate being sent minis I can use for my personal collection, I want everyone to know that that is not what this was about. I will have happily take them and use them, but um, this was not uh, me trying to get free minis. It was me trying to have the community do a thing that did help me run an event, but also in turn will help grow a community as well, because by running events and doing demos and stuff, hopefully we'll get new people into the hobby. So that said, we've got some individual wrapped minis here, and we'll check it out. This one I can already tell is the Mongrel. I could see through the bubble wrap. I'm trying to cut these open and not hurt myself and also not damage the mini. So get this guy unwrapped. Little ASMR here. It's probably triggering some people. Some people like ASMR. Some don't. Ooh. Okay. Found a place to throw trash. Let's grab a little paint handle here so we can mount this guy. Oh, he's got wooden bases, looks like. Ha-da. Ha-da. All right. Brrr. Zooming on in. So first up, we've got the mongrel. Clan Wolf Beta Galaxy. I dig it. This is super clean, super crisp. I really like, first off, the um, the color difference he put here for the, assuming that's SRMs, maybe? Um, I never did know in the Mongrel, but I like that the little break of uh, metal there helps break up the uh, the colors we got going on. Got the gray legs. Got our decals, our decals. Got our little lasers, big cannon, and one of the things that helps... Um, uh, Clan Wolf Beta Galaxy stand out. It's splashing a little color on the beige. Uh, instead of doing panel lines, um, looks like he opted to color a few panels. So we've got red and yellow panels on here. And I think that is super cool. Um, the basing is also really nice as well. Um, I definitely dig that. Yeah. And these look like they're from Green Stuff, not Green Stuff World, uh, Gamer Grass. They might not be, but I'm a big fan of these tufts that look kind of like flowers. It's very cool. Um, some people are naysayers for the taller grass tufts, but I like them. I mean, I don't think it breaks immersion that much for me. Maybe they're fighting on a planet where they get tall grass. You never know. Uh, but I really like it. This is super dope. Um, I'll be really curious to see what other minis he has. And as I have mentioned in um, previous videos, I'm going to try and be enthusiastic and excitable. Um, but if these are all beta galaxy, which they probably are, I'll be saying a lot of the same things. So if I sound repetitive, um, I am trying to pick out things to talk about, but I don't want you guys to think I'm being lazy because I'm not. Uh, I am definitely super appreciative. Um, before we transition, though, 
I do want to mention a couple things I like about the Mongrel. He's a sleeper unit, I feel like. I feel like a lot of people may not actually realize he's pretty good. Um, there's some decent variants out there. Um, in particular, his mobility and TMM can catch people off guard. So don't sleep on the Mongrel. It's a good little, good little mech. All right. So next up, this looks like we've got a Nova. Do, 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 do. Struggling with the tape. Ugh. You know, I suppose... It, I suppose I could have just found the seam, huh? Sometimes you just got to make life difficult. That's just the way you do it. A little ASMR going. <laughs> All right. So next up, second mech that we have unraveled, the Nova. Let's mount that so I don't drop them. Very cool. I kind of getting like a little bit of a German vibe. Are you guys getting a little German vibe? Because their flag is like black, red, and yellow, red, and orangey kind of color, right? Just need a little bit black here, so I kind of get a German vibe. But very cool. The slightly different take on the Beta Galaxy, but I don't think it's out of place. Take the decals. Got our Beta Galaxy on there. Very nice. One thing that I've noticed he's done slightly different than what I do. Uh, we've got a little Beta Galaxy guy on my desk as well. Um, I've got the whole bottom half as kind of gray. He's got the legs gray and the um, the hip joint still beige. That's an interesting take. Um, I actually have to look and see if it's like that in any reference photos. Um, I'm not a super stickler for Canon. It doesn't have to be 100% all the time for me. Um, but when you're painting, sometimes with airbrushing, doing the whole uh, top one color and bottom one color is easy. Doing the stuff like this, like you can't really mask that off very easy. So you actually have to get in there and do it by hand. So that is a, that's a curious choice pretty cool one of the things i did notice on the mongrel that i didn't mention but i'll mention here is we've also got a slight fade here to uh kind of like the brown dirty look on the legs which i think is really nice and um these actually have quite a few tufts on here maybe a little bit more than i typically use but i don't think it takes away i think it actually works out well i'm very um conservative with my tuft usage because i'm worried i'll do too much but this actually works this feels like like a um I don't know, some kind of meadow or something. I feel like these guys have walked out into a really peaceful area. Maybe maybe these two bros, maybe they've just exited a battle and they've walked in and there's carnage behind them and the sun's come up. It's peeking through the wreckage, the ruined buildings, the ruined trees, but they walk through, the sh sun shines through and it's like a meadow. You know, you see some like butterflies or something flying, which sounds really like maybe hippie. I don't know. Um, but seeing the calm after a storm uh, or even before the storm, or the beauty despite the destruction. That is kind of the vibe that I get here. Like, there's a moment of peace or serenity um, in these. And that's one of the things that, if you guys haven't figured this out by now, um, when I look at minis, I always try to envision a story. And that's what I envision with these guys. They're walking somewhere peaceful after just exiting a battle. Very Bob Ross kind of vibe. Happy little, happy little battle that they've exited. So, transitioning on here, I think we have got the... Um, uh, was this the Fenris? No, this is the Puma. I couldn't quite tell. The Puma. The Puma. This is a mech that I've struggled to make work. I like it. I think it looks cool. Um, but I've struggled using this thing. I just feel like there are other variants of mechs that do similar things a little bit better. Um, so I'm not sure what his purpose is. Maybe in uh, Classic, the the Puma has different uses. I do think it's cool. I like, I like the Puma uh, visually. But again, when I've used it, I've struggled. Um, and that's where you guys, the the viewers, could come in and uh, maybe help me, out, help me out a little bit. Um, are there any variants of this in the Master Unit list that you like to use? And is this one of those units where there's a disparity between, um, or disconnect between Master Unit list and Classic? Is this very useful in Classic, but not as much in Master Unit list, or, or Alpha Strike, rather? Uh, I'd be curious. I don't know if these are like dual PPCs or something he would normally have, or large lasers. Maybe he's supposed to skirt the um, outer edges of a battle versus getting up close. Because I, I like taking my light mechs, and they're danger close, like highway to the danger zone type stuff. Uh, I wanted to break out in song there, but it didn't. Um, <laughs> uh, so like with my my, uh, my fire moths, like you know, I'm leveraging that TMM and praying that you miss. And then if you miss, like now they're just going to get behind you and be annoying. Um, so maybe also my strategy with the Puma has been bad as well. I don't know. I don't know. But I dig it. It's very cool. Um, yeah, like I said, a little bit uh, similar things going on. I like the basing. Uh, I haven't talked about the canopies yet. we got the canopies in here. Uh, and Jonas, if you are watching, um, were you using speed paints maybe? I can't quite tell. If you were using contrast paint or speed paint, um, if that is what you did, I'm not sure, but if it is, um, 
you put on the coats very thin in the pooling. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of it, so um, I guess what I'm getting at here is uh, you've put in a nice clean um, a miniature here, whereas like you could go real heavy and get um, a bit more contrast, but a lot more pooling. Um, and I think that this looks really good and clean. Um, but I'd be curious if this was speed paints because the canopies kind of give me a speed paint vibe, or maybe I guess let me let me get up closer here. Um, I suppose that could be a GW paint. That could be one of their um, their gemstones, but I'm not sure. It looks a little not as metallic y as those. As maybe it was like maybe it's Talisar blue. I'm not sure, um, but I'd be curious. Um, again, if you did do speed paints, nothing wrong with that. I, I think they're a great tool, um, and honestly, you can get some really nice looking stuff out of them. Um, but you did a good job if that's what you used by using it um, in a very strategic, clean way. Um, I'm not sure how to word that any differently, but um, I feel like the uh, you know one thick coat, yes, it does work on contrast. But if you put a little extra effort into it, you can get a really um, even better top notch look, like you've got here uh, with a little extra effort. And I feel like uh, I feel like you've definitely nailed it. Next up, and if I notice this being the Mad Cat, it's not. Uh, I'm gonna mess this one up. Um, it's I always mess up the executioner um, slash. Oh man. Uh, shit, I'm gonna mess it up. It's um, uh, it's not executioner. It's executioner and gladiator, I think. Unless it's the same one. There's two. Let me. This is gonna bug me now. We're gonna bring up the master unit list real quick while I'm filming on my phone. Um, and I'm going to see master unit list. And uh, how about you go to master unit list, please? Master unit list. Okay. Um, and we'll go to gladiator. Yeah, so Gladiator's the Executioner. What's the one I'm thinking of? Um, man, it's gonna bug me. It's another. It's got a similar look to this. I always mix, mix, mess that one up. Um, he's got a similar vibe, but he's not as big. It's not as big. Um, oh, oh, it's gonna bug me. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, what is that mech called? Ha! I found it. <laughs> it's the gargoyle. Um, I mess this up every time. I don't know why I mix the gargoyle and the gladiator or executioner up. I do it every time. It's just like I, I'm turning my phone like you could see me like it turns the mech or something. Um, but yeah, I just it it reminds me of that. I don't I don't know why. I don't know why. Anyways, I digress. Back to this fellow. The thing I like about this one is it's a much larger canvas to work with and. I guess I've never actually looked at this really close. It's got a big, huge cannon on that arm. Does it come normal with that? Huh. Maybe I just never paid attention to it. That's actually really cool. Um, fun fact, folks, I've not painted one of these yet. So, but yeah. I dig you can see more of the uh, kind of brown fade here on the legs. Basin looks great. I dig the little wolf emblems on the sides. And yeah, very nice. I dig it. Super cool. Um, that's going to leave us with the last mech bro as the Timberwolf. Um, and this is the one he said he would pilot. And because he um, donated some minis to the uh, collective, um, this is the one I will try and get a pilot card done up for him for Nova. So if somebody rolls into it, there could be the legendary Jonas Skinner piloting the Beta Galaxy Timberwolf. Uh, oh, hey, he did he did some checker pattern on this. Nice. Very cool. That was unexpected. Nice. Got a little decal decal down there. Got our uh, our basing with the little flowers, which I love. And nice. I just I love the Timberwolf. The the other thing is cool with these um these checker patterns here. Um it kind of goes well with the squares up there. Very cool. It's a different take on uh, the Beta Galaxy, but the colors and stuff are there. I dig it. Nice, dude. Like, so uh, one of the things I want to do with these minis that uh, um, the community has helped uh, me, me gather here, um, I want to... Um, there must have been, like, tape or something on there. He, or he rebased them. He, oh, he rebased them because they're not beveled. Okay. Um... I want to do more aces matches for our battle uh, battle reports for my channel. 
um, so that I can take stuff like this and have like this is you know Jonas's um, uh, star of um, Beta Galaxy Clan Wolf and have those fight off against something of mine or maybe something else from the uh, the Nova Grinder box. And I think that would be super cool. And I've done stuff like that before, but I want to keep doing it, especially when I get groups that all, all match. It's really easy for me to build a force with those right out of the box and play with it and then actually name who painted them. That's very cool. So I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited to get these out um, at Nova and start to introducing people to Alpha Strike. I think it's going to be a blast. I've got probably pushing 80 mechs that the community has donated thus far you guys have been super baller like i never expected this to happen the way it did and it did and that was just awesome so um on that note jonas if you're listening thank you so much for contributing minis if you guys have made this front of the video and you have no idea what i'm talking about um these minis were donated for my uh grinder uh 2023 nova grinder where i'll be running a alpha strike style um uh, free-for-all kind of game uh beer and pretzels you know people coming out at the the event at nova open um to come out and play and learn the game and just have a good time um and i had no way that i was going to be able to paint a bunch of stuff on my own and community members have been uh donating stuff to the cause and we've we've collected a bunch um i bought a felt hair case to put them all in and that way after nova um nova 2024 uh hopefully be able to bring them and do something else or go to local shops um and do demos and things like that so that these continue to get used and continue to have a legacy of trying to help grow the BattleTech community in particular the alpha strike side that i like um and I think that's really cool. So these are contributed and over time will continue to hopefully pay off. And I think that's really, really neat. So um, Jonas, thank you so much. And as we uh, prepare to sign off today, um, we will go back through the minis he's contributed one more time in the order that they came out. So we have the Mongrel. And don't sleep on that. It is a super good mech. Great TMM. We have got the Blackhawk Nova, which... Um, this one's grown on me. There's some really good damage output ones that uh, I've come up against, and that's really cool. We got the Puma, or the Adder, and I uh, still just don't know. You guys uh, share some wisdom with me in the comments if there's some variants you like or different strategies you employ. We've got the Gladiator slash Executioner, which is cool because I don't have one of these painted up for my Beta Galaxy yet either. And then we got the oldie, Bug Goldie, the Timberwolf. And you can't go wrong with a T-Wolf. The, the pride of the clanners maybe i don't know there's probably a clan that hates this thing because it has wolf in the name but i think it's cool iconic battle tech so on that note big shout out to jonas for donating and contributing these thank you so much for those of you guys who have watched thank you for being a part of what i'm doing here if you haven't already hit that like and subscribe stay tuned for more videos we'll have more playthroughs uh, if you haven't watched already, we got some tutorials up, and uh, we'll have some more battle reports coming at you soon as well. That said, though, folks, it's time for me to sign off today. Thank you so much for hanging out. As always, keep painting your models, keep rolling your dice, and I will catch you guys next time. If you guys are still sitting here watching this, let's take a moment to uh, put a pop up here to showcase those wonderful Patreon supporters here. We'll let that scroll here, and uh, thank you so much for supporting what I do. That's super awesome. I really do appreciate that.